So I recently acquired this uh, juicer and I wanted to do a review on it because I haven't ever owned a juicer of this price range before. Um, I wanted to review the product based on the merits in its advertisement, uh, point by point. So the main points I can see in the advertisement are that uh, number one, it's a high quality device which won't break and it comes with a 10 year warranty. Number two, the juice that it makes is much smoother and with much less pulp than other juicers out there. So like it has less little stuff in it. And uh, number three, it's a much quieter juicer than the others out there. When you first get the device, it comes in several parts, but they're all relatively easy to assemble. Uh, the first part is this kind of base of the unit which you can see on the right side in this frame, it's the red thing. The second part is this draining unit. Here's where the pulp comes out, this oblong, and the juice comes out the other, which is the round side here. So the third part is what I can only describe, it's kind of like a squeegee ring, and it keeps the juice from sticking to the sides of the jar, and it kind of keeps it flowing out evenly. So the fourth piece here is this grinding ring with the metal grating on it and it, that seems to be in every juicer I've ever owned so it's kind of the same if you have a juicer it's this it's the same material uh, it's maybe a little bit thicker but basically the same thing and sixth is the rotating it's just a rotating ball with a screw kind of uh, like a thread threading around the outside and that moves everything around and down into everything and uh, this is actually made of extremely heavy metal. To assemble the unit, you just have to line up the red dots. So you can see here first that first goes the draining bowl, and then the, the squeegee ring goes in after that. And then the, the metal grate goes in, and you just line up the, uh, the dots on that. And then finally the metal rotating ball and that just kind of clunks in and then the lid just clamps on right after that and the lid has a red dot as well which you just line up and, and move over to the side then. so <clears throat> in regards to the first advertisement point is that it's high quality uh, I don't have any objections with that. The whole thing is extremely sturdy and it feels a lot like a commercial piece of equipment in terms of materials. So they mentioned that the plastic is Triton plastic, which is a BPA free material. So how does it actually perform when juicing? Well, first we decided to try it on apples, which is pretty much the easiest thing that you can throw at this machine and it did work just fine. Uh, everything regarding that was great. You can see that the juice comes out one side, the leftover material comes out the other. So we decided to move on from there to something a little bit more difficult. Uh, my wife likes carrot beet juice <laughs> and I don't really like that stuff but she always seems to have some around so it was the first thing that she wanted to make. So while we're trying it out we noticed a few things. So the first is that there's only one speed setting but it does seem to work for pretty much anything that fits in the chute, so it's just on or it's off, you know? Um, there's a reverse, which I'll talk about in just a second, but... Uh, one thing to note, these carrots that we're putting in here are, like, really old, and so they were already growing branches out the top of them, and they didn't work in our other juicer. We were pretty happy with how that turned out. The second thing that we noticed is that the juicer makes a lot less noise, and really goes a little bit faster when everything inside of it is wet. Sometimes the center uh, ball in there got stuck on hard parts of the carrot. It would just stop for just a second. And so the way that you fix that is you just hit down, you hit reverse, and then you just hit forward again. And at that point, everything keeps going through. So it's uh, obviously they built that in for really hard vegetables or if anything gets stuck or anything. You can see it's very constant speed, it always is moving. Our old juicer worked by rotating the center column, including that, um, that metal grating, very, very quickly. And then whatever happened when you threw, 
the piece of vegetable in there, it would just kind of, it would shoot everything off all at once. And the center would then slow down significantly and you couldn't start again until, until the metal grating started speeding up again. But the Kuvings juicer here doesn't have that same problem. It, it goes through just fine and it keeps it going at the same speed. So I, I really did, I did like that a lot. Um, it doesn't have the same problem as our old juicer did. So in regards to the second advertisement point, the juice was indeed a lot smoother than the stuff that came out of our old juicer. It had a lot fewer particles. There were still a few small particles from the carrots because they were so hard, I think, but the beets and the apples didn't have any particles in them, so it was fine. So for kind of just a demonstration, we filmed the juicing process for all of this on Thursday. And so here is the same juice on Saturday. This is a full two days later. And so normally on our old juicer, the juice would have separated by this point. You'd see like particles on the top and then water on the bottom. And here in this particular juice, you can see it's all very smooth and it, it looks the same, uh, still tastes the same. There's a little bit of those carrot particles that I had mentioned earlier on the bottom, but those were there at the start. So they haven't really like filtered any different. It's just, it always kind of stays the same. So finally, regarding the claims about it being much quieter, uh, I decided to test it using my microphone. Um, my microphone records on a set decibel level according to uh, how I just initially set it up. So I've used it to record both the old juicer and the new juicer. The advertisement says that most high-speed juicers quote operate between 80 to 95 decibels and the Kuvings operates between 40 to 55 decibels. So that's about half the volume uh, levels and in the tests that I am showing you here it, it's I would have to say that I agree with their findings. Um, it does operate at about half the level and it's just a lot quieter all around. It doesn't doesn't have the same kind of high-pitched whine that the other one does. So I should note that when they're actually in the middle of juicing, they both create more noise than this. But the Kuvings did have about half the level as they had indicated that than the our old juicer does. Our old juicer also kind of makes this really high-pitched screeching saw blade noise but the Kuvings makes uh, like kind of a growling low grinding noise so it's a it's a big difference in terms of the type of noise that it makes it it's much nicer and much less jarring on the Kuvings uh, my wife likes to make juice in the mornings and uh, it, it's really really loud and wakes me up usually so it's nice knowing that on the new juicer we won't have that problem so uh, in conclusion I do agree actually with all the points that they've made about the juicer it is indeed very high quality makes great juice and is quiet uh, in comparison to other juicers it is quite an investment but it now sits on our counter next to our KitchenAid, which is also quite an investment, and our Vitamix, which is also quite an investment. So I hope this helps you, and uh, thank you very much for watching.